Hey guys, super fly fun guy here. Today I'm gonna show you how to shake some mycelium grain jars. So these have been incubating for about two, two and a half weeks now. Um, this is what they look like or they should look like. And I have already gone through these and looked for any possible contamination. And I have also already shaken these jars here to the side. So after I shake them, I just put them to the side and I just let them incubate for maybe another week or so before I um, transfer into substrate. And that's when I begin the uh, spawning process. Um, so yeah, let's just get started guys. All right, so you can use maybe a, an old tire or maybe like a, some shoe or something if you don't want to uh, do what I do. But I normally just give it a good bump down at the bottom, give it all loose. And once it's pretty much loose, I just shake it. You're gonna see it break up into big pieces from there to smaller pieces. That's why it's very important to leave some air in between your lid and your grain. Um, I do things a little bit different, but <laughs> Um, do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna shake up a couple jars so I can show you guys how it looks. And it's pretty much all gonna look like this. So it kinda, the mycelium kinda just disappears. It's still there. Um, it's gonna actually grow back pretty vigorously. So this one I did a better job of leaving some space. Um, this is what the jar looks like. Uh, even though you don't see the mycelium grow on the outside, it's growing in there. And when we shake it up, it's going to give it a nice little boost. So you make sure you get all the bottom pieces. Sometimes when you inoculate, the water likes to run down the jar and pull at the bottom. I can show you some examples um, that I had just inoculated last week before I went on a, a trip to Hawaii. So... And that's what it looks like when it's pretty much done. Um, I'm just gonna go through it and make sure there's no bigger clumps. And if there is, I'm just gonna give it one more good shake. Um, let me know in the comments how uh, the video quality looks, if I can improve with some other things. I'm not gonna make this video too long or too boring. I'm just gonna show you the other jar and maybe some contamination just so you guys get a look what to, um, to look out for. So this I just inoculated last week. This is B plus growing. And this is what I meant when you inoculate and it runs down to the bottom. And the top didn't really catch yet, but it will. Um, I don't know if you can tell right here. So you need to make sure that your grain is always dry. You got some pinhead mold. Um, I'm gonna see if I can take some pictures, but that's what, that's what that looks like. But yeah, I'm just gonna end the video right here, guys. Um, you guys have any comments, any questions? I'd definitely like to hear from you guys. Uh, I'm just showing you guys the rest of my grain jars. I'm going to shake here before I uh, let them rest. And this is Enigma. Enigma. Yeah, guys. Super fly fun guy.